Hello, I'm Wade with Graduate Hotels. We just opened our 25th hotel here in Cincinnati called Graduate Cincinnati. Uh, we're here with the superstar today, Fiona. Uh, we have um, a lot of decor at the hotel that revolves around Fiona, our bar and restaurants, uh, actually named after the famous Cincinnati Hippo. And uh, we're here, we're gonna watch her paint today. And um, please feel free to click on the link below to get a chance to win one of the paintings that Fiona's going to do, and we're going to actually hang one in the hotel as well. So we're very excited about that. Awesome. Want to show them your back of your shirt? Oh. That's... Representing. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so yeah, just like normal, you're welcome to send in all of your questions. We are going to do a live painting with Fiona here, our three-and-a-half-year-old prematurely born hippo that was hand-raised. Um, and her mom, Bibi, is also with us, and my coworker Mark, BB is 21 years old, and like I said, we're gonna do a painting, but feel free to send us any questions you might have. So we are using a non-toxic uh, tempera paint that is safe for our hippos. And this is just a special occasion. There are very few Fiona paintings out in the world. So if you do click that link, you will have the opportunity to win one of these rare and really special, unique hippo kisses. We've trained her to become desensitized to different touches, but she actually really enjoys it. I think it feels like a massage to her. You can see she starts suckling uh, whenever we rub her face. And she also gets rewarded in between um, the different parts that we do for this painting. So she's getting romaine lettuce. She'll also get one of her favorites, cantaloupe today. On a normal day, they get yellow squash, cucumber, timothy hay, and a special herbivore grain that gives them all the vitamins and nutrients that they need. And when they chew, it's a lot easier for them to chew when they put their head down. So you'll notice that's what she does every once in a while. Good girl, Fee. Do you want to paint? You ready? Good girl. Okay, can you come up here? Too close. You ready? So if you guys didn't know, the Graduate of Cincinnati is actually in walking distance from the zoo. So it's a great place to stay if you're coming from out of town to see Miss Fiona. And you can walk here on a nice day. You ready? Can you do chin up? Good girl. <laughs> Over here. You're so sleepy. So uh, hippos are nocturnal. This is a nap time for Fiona. Often they'll sleep from about 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. when they become really active again. So snacks and naps are one of her favorite things to do. <laughs> She's leaving me today. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> so you'll see when Bibi opens her mouth, she has those giant tusks. They're ever growing and they're actually self-sharpening. So every time she opens and closes her mouth, the top one, this right here, rubs against this one. 
and they are made for defense, of course. It wouldn't really help with eating grass, that's their main diet. So they use these keratinized lips right here to pick up short grasses, which is kind of amazing. They don't really look adapted to eat grass. And obviously their size, it's really surprising to find out that they are herbivores. Um, but they do need to defend their, their calves. So in the wild, they would typically be really um, protective of their babies. And a mother wouldn't let anything get near her baby, especially for the first two weeks. Um, but then the males are definitely territorial over their space and mating opportunities and of course food. So you'll see Beanie every once in a while get a little defensive of her food. Good girl! Yay! Good job, B. You ready? Good girl. Do we have any questions coming yeah, up? Yeah, we do. Um, Adele wants to know, do you know how many teeth hippos have? Oh my gosh. I know this. I'm saying 36, but I'm questioning myself at the moment. Um, I want to say 36, though. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. Um, Adele also wants to know, why don't the hippos eat the fish in their pool? That's a good question. It's actually because they are herbivores. So, um, like I mentioned, they primarily eat grass. If there is a drought, it has been observed very, very rarely that um, especially male hippos will eat a dead carcass. So if they are desperate, they will find um, whatever they can to eat and they will eat animals. But they are primarily herbivores, meaning they eat plant matter. Um, so the fish in there actually have a job to help us keep the pools clean and the hippos clean. So they eat dead skin cells off the hippos. They eat the hippo dung, actually, and they eat the algae off of the rock work in there. So the tilapia are there, they have a job, and they also get fed. Julie wants to know, how much does Fiona eat per day? She eats about 30 pounds of food. So her and Bibi are going to share 40 pounds of Timothy hay. Um, Bibi sometimes get a, gets a little bit more than Fiona does just because she's bigger and eats quicker. Um, she gets three pounds of herbivore grain and then about 10 pounds of produce. So she's getting cucumber, yellow squash, and lettuce. Mary asked, what is Fiona's favorite thing to do? Uh, eat. <laughs> I think eating and playing with her mom, Bibi, and sleeping are some of her favorite things to do. But hippos have a great appetite, and that's why we're able to train them for so many of these behaviors that are really helpful to us to take good care of them. Um, it's definitely important that we were able to check on them. We were able to do blood draws, um, check their ears, check their eyes. I mentioned BB's teeth are, are self-sharpening, so we do file those down to round them out a little bit, um, just to keep Fiona safer when they are, uh, when she's getting disciplined. But um, the being food motivated helps us train them for things, even like the painting, where they get rewarded after each behavior, and it becomes something that they really enjoy doing. And of course, they can leave at any point in time. Awesome. Kaylee wants to know um, about their whiskers. Yeah, so they are mammals. And as you probably know, mammals have hair or fur. So I kind of compare it to like toothbrush bristle, bristles, like a softer toothbrush. There are quite a few little hairs that come out of one spot, so they're not quite as, as wiry as maybe a cat whisker. Um, but those help them sense vibrations underwater in the murky waters that they're that they're living in where it might be dark and muddy or cloudy. A lot of people want to know how much do they both weigh? Fiona weighs 1,461 pounds this morning and Bibi weighs 3,529 and it's actually not very rare for Bibi to gain or lose uh, anywhere between 20 and 50 pounds a week. We weigh them every Tuesday um, but the amount of waste that they produce <laughs> It kind of depends on when the last time they went to the bathroom, how much she weighs. <laughs> Mandy wants to know, will we ever have to separate Fiona and Baby? Um, hopefully we won't. They are actually known to live in large groups called bloats. Typically there's one dominant male and some younger bachelors, but the females will live in large groups. And um, here we follow our species survival program, which determines which animals breed. So we have a wide genetic diversity throughout all hippos and zoos. We make sure that we are following that, and um, if there is a chance that one of them is recommended to breed, we will hopefully bring a male here to the Cincinnati Zoo so they can stay together. 
Barb asked about their blood sweat. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so you can kind of see it here on Fiona a little bit. Um, it's white right now, so it looks like slobber. I don't know if you can see mm -hmm. that. Um, but it did get its name blood sweat because when they are stressed or overheated a little bit, or if it's a really hot day, which thankfully it's not for once, <laughs> um, it'll have a red tint to it and it'll look like beads of sweat. But it's actually a mucus that they produce. So it protects them from the sun. It uh, like forms a lacquer over their body, over their skin and keeps them from getting dehydrated. Um, it also protects them from biting insects and has an antiseptic property to it. So if they, um, get any cuts or scrapes they actually heal really quickly so the blood sweat is very important for hippos they don't actually sweat. Tinsley who's two years old wants to know do hippos like apples? Hippos do like apples yes that's one of the sweeter treats that they can get here um, but we make sure that they aren't getting too many sweet fruits just like you and I shouldn't eat too much dessert but they do get them every once in a while and they do really like them. Shelly wants to know how long can they stay underwater? That's a good question. We're learning more and more about hippos every year and recently um, somebody was studying them in the wild and realized that they can stay underwater for over 10 minutes. However, that's not really typical. They mostly stay underwater um, for about five minutes or so and if they aren't trying to hide from anything or, or stay down there for a reason, uh, when I observe our girls sleeping, they typically come up every 30 to 45 seconds. So they have a natural reflex that allows them to come take a breath uh, without ever waking up. So it's pretty cool, but they also have their ears, their eyes, and their nostrils on top of their heads, of course, um, which allows them to sleep in shallow waters with just the very top of their head showing. Kristen wants to know, is this as big as Fiona will get? Like, do we think she's going to stay a little bit smaller because she's premature? <laughs> we wish she would stay this size as long as she was nice and healthy, but um, most likely Fiona will continue growing and she might always be a petite hippo or it might just take her a little longer to catch up to other hippos her age. Um, but I mentioned we do blood draws on her and she is nice and healthy. So we know that all of her organs are functioning well. And of course she's behaving as though she feels great has a great appetite. Those are things we look at, but the blood can tell us a lot. Um, so we're not sure how big she'll get. Most females are typically 2,500 pounds. So I mentioned earlier, Bibi is 3,500 pounds. She is a big mama. Uh, she was the biggest female at St. Louis where she came from. Um, so there's a chance Fiona could grow up and be really big too. Anne-Marie wants to know, what time of day are they most active? Typically, um, when zoo guests can see them, their most active hours are about three to five. Uh, they're also active in the mornings, depending on what kind of morning they're having. So if we have our dive team out cleaning our pool, by the time the hippos get out, sometimes they're ready for a nap. Um, if we put them out early around eight or so, they're often very playful. And then based on video footage, we can watch them overnight via cameras. Uh, these guys are most active between like 3 and 11 p.m. Then they sleep and they wake up around 5 or 6 a.m. So they're a little different than wild hippos. They're a little less nocturnal. Heather wants to know how fast can a hippo run? Oh, hippos, that's one of my favorite facts. Hippos are actually very, very fast. They can run faster than humans on those teeny little legs with those giant bodies. Um, they can run about 18 to 19 miles per hour. Which is really cool to see. Wow. Joy wants to know how high can a hippo jump? <laughs> uh, can they jump? <laughs> I don't think they can jump, but they can climb, which is also very impressive uh, to see. And these two will help themselves to snacks quite often when the trees are, are growing in and, and new vegetation every spring. They'll climb the walls to get to their favorite things. So uh, they can definitely climb. Well, we are about wrapping up. Are you guys good? We just wanted to say again, you can enter to win this painting. Um, we would love to give it away to, to some lucky winners. So thank you for following along and have a great day.